Aloha, my name is Sunny Savage and I want to show you how to eat haulikoa in the safest way that we know at this time. Haulikoa is the name that we use for this shrub, small tree here in Hawaii, but its scientific name is Lucena leucocephala. And we're going to focus on the green mature seeds today. So in order to harvest those, I'll oftentimes bring a scissors just to get as many steps out of the way as possible. I'm gonna go for these pods that you might notice they're literally just starting to turn brown on the outside, um, green on one side. They can be fully green, but you can see the swelling of the seeds inside versus this one, which has very small kind of not fully sized seeds in there, even though it does have a little bit of that browning on, on the pot as well. So I just go ahead and I can either pull these off or use my scissors, cut a little bit at an angle and bring that home. The other thing that I wanna mention is that when you're transporting these, these are viable seeds and it's a super invasive species. So we wanna make sure that we put it into some kind of container with a sealing lid or zip to it. So, all right. For our holicoa that have fully formed mature green seeds inside, what I do is take a scissors and cut it at an angle and then use my fingernails, my foraging fingernails, I don't have very many fingernails, and pull apart, okay? So you just kind of pull it apart and then you can use your fingers to just kind of pull the seeds off and they're gorgeous. And a lot of people love eating these raw. They have a, a little bit of a garlicky flavor. Um, Haulikoa does have a mild toxin called mimosin in it. And so the safest way that we know right now and recommend is to soak the seeds for 36 hours in water. And then you can eat them raw, but soaked or processed. Um, the, uh, the seeds can also be cut up. You can take a knife and, and cut them up. That way more of the mimosine will be released or you could put it into like a food mill, food processor of some kind. Um, yeah, so the haulikoa, uh, we also know that the mimosine is chelated out potentially when you cook them in cast iron and we also know that fermentation can have an effect so just remember that you can eat up to 10 percent of your diet of haulikoa untreated but that if you'd like to include more of it in your diet or you want to really be safe that you um, treat it in this way with the water and so we put the seeds into the water and you don't have to have a large amount of water. It's not the amount of water, it's just that they're in water. And then you're going to need to change the water, typically one time, possibly two times, because it starts to get a little fermenty, bubbly, kind of off smelling. So just get your strainer, colander, fine meshed, obviously, and strain out the water and then refresh the water. And then I'll typically just put a uh, towel on top and put it somewhere off to the side in your kitchen.